Hello world of YouTube, welcome back to the Let's Play of uh, Dead Rising. When we last left off, we were um, doing some side quests because we had time to kill, but before, and we got a message from Shadepool last episode. Before I continue the game, I want to show you this. He just messaged me poop because he wanted me to say poop. So poop. Alright, uh, let's continue. We are going to do this side quest, A Mother's Lament. We're in the food court right now, but we want to go over here to this place where the stuff happens. <laughs> Die! Now, one thing I like about this area, the the, the Alfresca Plaza, yeah. um, is the gym. Before we do a mother's lament, I'm gonna show you the gym. Now, we're not gonna break any of these window, any of these windows, because that's how the zombies get in. The gym is actually a save haven. They said that you could save in the bathrooms, but you can also save. Inflexin. Um, hold on, let me, let me just waste these bullets real quick. There you go. That way I have a free spot. No, wait a minute. There you go. I have a free fist, so we can do some working out. Got this lovely mirror, but there's a bathroom right here in this restroom where we can save. This is a safe place. Um, We get some PP for, for running in this treadmill, if I remember correctly. This is like working out. Yep, treadmill bonus. Did you get it for all the treadmills? I don't know. But we're going to run on all the treadmills to find out. Look at us run. Yep, we do. We get them for all the treadmills. This is a good way to get some experience. We're going to work out. Work out and bulk up. Bulk up before we continue, guys. We're going to bulk up, bro. Gotta bulk up. What do you want, Otis? What do you want, Otis? The Space Rider Machine in Wonderland Plaza looks like it's out of control. Maybe there's somebody out there. You want to check it out? Which we are going to do uh, in a little bit. After we get some more treadmill bonus. We are level 8 now. Level up. Yeah. New skill master. You mastered the flying dodge skill. Treadmill bonus. Last one. All treadmill bonuses. 10,000 PP. We got a lot of experience for that. Alright, now let's beat up on this bag a little bit because we get some experience for that too, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, we get one. Yep. Sandbag destroyed. Oh, we can do this easily then. Let's just destroy the sandbags. We get 2,000 PP for it. And then we get another 10,000. We're level 9. Yeah. Right out of the stock. So now we can pick up some. Yeah. Pizza. Uncooked pizza. We can cook just pizza. Now, we can't ride the bikes, if I remember correctly. Yeah. We might be able to. Yeah, we can't. We cannot ride the bikes. In fact, I think this is the only things we can do. Is, uh... And pick up the dumbbells. Swing some dumbbells at some zombies. No! You do not go near my safe place! The mother is in there. Uh, but first, we're going to, um, yeah. We're going to cook this pizza because we're going to need it. Because something's going to happen. Something's going to happen when we go to the out of control, which we're going to do after we pick up the mother. And in fact, we should do that first. And if we miss this quest, oh well. I'm not all that concerned with it. I'm not trying to save everyone, but this is an important quest. If I remember correctly. Well, it at least gives you something that you can use to your advantage. So, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take care of this. Take care of business. I'm gonna take care of business. Business. Flying dodge. It's a good move to have. Flying dodge, which we just got. You can see the animation of it right there. Frame 1, frame 2, and frame 3. If it'll load. There you go. 62 hours remain. Oh, what you got? 
I know I'm in Wonderland Plaza. It's a Winter Wonderland. It's a Winter Wonderland. It's a roller coaster. See, this mall has a freaking roller coaster. What mall can you say it has that? Probably none. Oh, we gotta wait for an escalator. Okay. No, no, sure, sure. I'll just walk. Zombies are coming. Zombies are coming, guys. Look at that. That's going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Crowd control. Hey, buddy. I don't tell you how to deal with your problems. Yeah, he's got a fan in his mouth. All right, Space Rider. Well, let's look at these controls and examine them. If you're afraid of clowns, this episode is not for you. This guy kind of sound like the gingerbread man from Shrek to anyone else. I think he sounds like a gingerbread man from Shrek. But we gotta fight Adam, the clown. He's a boss. He's a psychopath. Um, he's kind of a pain. He can be because he has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Um, There you go. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, no! I didn't pull the bar. Oh god. Those chainsaws are serious business. Let's drink some Kramer or some milk. Oh god. Oh shit, he broke my thing really, really fast. He broke my sledgehammer. And what you want to do is you want to shoot that and then just unload on him. That's how you do damage. You have to make sure you have a gun for this boss fight because those balloons become the only way that you can hurt him. Just want to avoid him. Oh, damn it. There you go. And then once it gets in his eyes, you want to stab him. Stab him with a knife. Then run away. He has a boss that does a lot of damage. Oh, it's officially nighttime. The mall is officially shutting down. The lights are. And give him some more. No, I didn't mean to do that. Shit, I meant to stab him. Run from the zombies. More sand in his eyes. Stabby, 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 stabby. There you go. He's dead. Very graphic cutscene. Turn away. Now that we've seen the disturbing image of a clown laughing on his chainsaws, 
which we can now pick up and use, which are very good weapons. And we have the ID card. We're going to stop the ride. I love how he tries to feel like he knows what he's doing. Look at this. He's a very important guy to rescue. Very important. And you see why. He's important because... Thanks, I was in trouble there. Are there any other survivors? There sure are. Everyone's in the security room. It's safe there. Security room? I know a shortcut there. He knows a shortcut there. And as you can see, these chainsaws respawn. Every time you leave this plaza, people come on. People, uh... People... Uh, the chainsaws respawn every time we leave this area and come back. Alright, he's gonna take us to where we gotta go. Which, in fact, we should give him a weapon. Because you can give survivors weapons. I'm gonna give him a knife. Come on. Come on, Greg. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Oh, that's right. He had to follow him before he really joins us. He just really helps us out. Damn it. I don't want to hurt him. See how, see how great this chainsaw is? And it lasts for a little while. Hurt him. Very careful not to hurt him. Come on, Greg. I'm following you. Run around the zombies. No, don't go. See, now the AI is being dumb to us. Don't run through them, you idiots. We're not the smartest cat in the box. I need you to live, Greg. Just keep going. Don't punch any zombies. Stop fidgeting around the zombies. You're going to get meat killed. Thank you. Just keep going. I'm following you. There's a PP sticker on him if you get too far away, but I don't want to... Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Why? Ah, Kramer. Drink the Kramer. I know where you're going, Greg. You're going to the bathroom. Which is lovely that you are. So I can show off the bathrooms in this part. No! Get off. I'm right here. What the hell is your radius? Get... Seriously? Keep going. Keep going. Don't even think. Don't even act like you don't see me. Alright. We gotta go into the, to the women's restroom. Where he says... Just head through here. We're already at Paradise Plaza. Nice shortcut, huh? As far as I can take you, you're on your own from here on out. Well, wait, you come back with me. Oh, wait, he'll come with me, I believe. Yep, it does. I found a couple of survivors in the bookstore in Wonderland Pro Plaza. They look Japanese, probably tourists. Alright, let's give him a knife. Uh -huh. right, come on. Come on, Greg. Once we're done with uh, this part, we're going to get the, some tourists and the mother. We're going to save all of them. Which we'll probably end up doing at the beginning of next episode. Once we save him, we're going to uh, save... Oh, sh oh, fuck, I forgot to show you guys the bathrooms. I'll show you guys. It's essentially you save in the bathrooms. You can... Uh... Oh, come on, Greg. You're smarter than that. Come on, Greg. I'm going to start playing this like I typically do, where I run really far ahead and give them a nap point and then watch them run to it. In fact, I am going to do that. That way they just go to the nap point, which is usually by the exit that I'm trying to go to. And then they'll follow me throughout the next part, or throughout the rest of the point. Part. Area. I would bring Greg along. But he's already kind of halfway dead because he was an idiot and said, Hey, I'm going to run into crowds of zombies. Because I'm smart. Yeah. Come on, Greg. Even if this one breaks, I have another one. 
Saw somebody in North Plaza. He was leaving the supermarket. He was in a real panic, too. Something must be after the poor guy. Shadow of North Plaza. Keep getting more side quests. Come on, Greg. Come on. Stop stabbing zombies. Just Greg. 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 Come on, Greg. Greg, quit working out your issues, buddy. Come on. We gotta go. I got places to go. People to see. You're here. Let's go. Alright. Come on, Greg. You're the first AI that's been really dumb, and that disappoints me. Because you're typically a really smart guy. Smart enough to get us into a shortcut that I don't have to use, so that way I don't have to use the damn courtyard anymore. The, uh, yard place. Otis, you okay? Thank God! We got Greg Simpson. Alright, we got another. We're level 10 now. Level up. Life up. We got another life bar. Yay, rooftop. Now we're gonna go, um... We're gonna go looking for the Mother's Lament, the Japanese tourists, and then, uh, we're gonna start making our way that way anyway. And then we're gonna call it an episode here. So by the time we get to Wonderland Plaza, I think I'm gonna save it, and we'll call it an episode there. And the next episode, we'll be doing more side quests, saving more people, all that sort of thing. Because now I have a shortcut, so things will be a lot faster. Uh, saving people and all that sort. If they'll listen and not be dumb idiots, like they can be sometimes. Now, I would stop at Colombian Roastmasters, but it's not on the way. Colombian Roastmasters, like I said, is the best sword. Not even just because of that, because of the sword that's hanging from the thing, uh, but because, actually, we, we're gonna need that sword. Um, but because they, um... They have an infinite supply of orange juice, which is one of the best, if not the best, ingredient in the game. Or, um, drink in the game, because they have an infinite supply of the stuff right there. OJ. Alright, now let's go down and make our way to Wonderland Plaza. Jump! I said jump to the rhythm, jump, jump to the rhythm, jump! And I hurt myself. <clears throat> I only have five bullets, bullets left in this gun. Probably going to change up our outfit, too, next episode, just because I'm wearing this suit for a little too long. I feel like changing up the style throughout the LP. Got to go to the ladies' restroom. Then we're going to go to Wonderland Plaza. It's the Winter Wonderland. All right, so now that we're in Wonderland Plaza, I'm going to go to the bathroom, the men's room, and save it. You can save in either bathroom, but I wanted to go to the urinals just so I can do this. Now that we've come to Wonderland Plaza and I'm taking a piss, uh, we're going to call it an episode. Come back when we do Mother's Lament, Japanese Tourists, and maybe... Well, no, we're going to do those two, and then we're going to do Shadow of North Plaza. So hopefully you guys are still enjoying this Let's Play. I've been Rack. You guys are good at stuff and situations, and I'll see you another day.